For Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. He is joining us on this Friday. David, great to see you. And you're starting out with bad news about gas prices. Yeah, and then this comes off of the stock market thing that we just talked about. Stocks fell today because of rising tensions surrounding Ukraine. At the same time, oil prices continue to rise for exactly the same reason. Oil now topping $90 a barrel. And at least one oil industry analyst is out today with a prediction that if, in fact, hostilities break out in Ukraine, if Russia invades its neighbor, that could push oil prices so high that here in the United States, we could see $7 a gallon gas. All right, how does that work? All right, right now, gas or oil, $90 a barrel, a little more than that. Now, some say that if uh, hostilities do break out in Ukraine, we could easily see oil trading at $100 a barrel or more. Now, according to Dan Dicker of Energy Word, if that happens, we can expect to see uh, gas going for over five dollars uh, a gallon on average nationwide but if indeed ga uh, oil goes to 150 dollars a gallon or 150 dollars a barrel then he says we could expect to see gas going for seven dollars a gallon or so now that's not outlandish in 2008 we saw oil trading at nearly 150 dollars a barrel and at the moment opec has shown no inclination to ramp up production meaning we've got rising demand because of the global recovery and at the same time we could have limited supply that means higher prices that's basic economics right there and this could be very very troublesome now how do things look right now at the moment the nationwide average for gas according to AAA is three dollars and fifty three cents a gallon so to get to five dollars a gallon that's still a bit of a climb seven dollars a gallon that's a doubling of where we are right now but in California the average is currently four dollars and 73 cents a gallon and here in LA it's four dollars and 78 cents a gallon I think the bottom line is going to be that if we do get anywhere close to seven dollars a gallon at the pump that's the national average Californians would be spending about eight dollars a gallon Ooh. wow all right uh, holy fractions Batman there's now a chance to own a portion just a portion of a rare comic book Basically, comic books are the new timeshares, if you look at this thing correctly. <laughs> a company called Rally, which deals with collectibles online, is going to be offering not the entire comic, but shares of the first Batman comic, Batman number one, published in 1940. Looks like it's in pretty close to mint condition. Now this thing is valued at about $1.8 million. What Rally is going to do is to sell 180,000 shares in this comic book for $10 a share, meaning you could buy just a portion, you could buy more than one share, Timeshare. You're basically going to own a piece of a valuable commodity. And if you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, that sounds kind of like one of those newfangled NFTs. Au contraire. An NFT is simply virtual. It has no existence in the real world. Its value is basically what the marketplace says it's going to be. Here we're talking about a real world object, an art object, if you will, with real world value, and you can own a piece of it. As for its valuation at $1.8 million, well, it's worth pointing out, last month, Superman's first appearance in Action Comics number one sold for more than $3 million. So never mind Bitcoin. You want something that might really hold its value? Batman. Back to you guys. Hol what is it? Holy smokes, Batman. <laughs> Holy investment, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great way to end the day on Friday. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Holy, you're a sucker, Batman. <laughs>